uh, today I'm going to talk about some of the stuff that I just uh, just heard through f uh, a family friend and through someone who is very close to us here. Um, I'm going to talk about kind of what is going on right now. Of course, uh, now the MSM is finally coming around and saying that they have uh, satellite images of, of the uh, Russian troops amassing on Ukraine's border. Again, this is something, you know, we talked about a week before they even had on MSM. And uh, now I have a little bit of information that I do not believe will hurt anything. Anytime that I do kind of give stuff that I hear other places, one, I don't just hear something from a YouTube video and then uh, repeat that. I don't, uh, if 30 people send me the same YouTube video, I don't, I don't repeat that kind of information. Uh, if I do not back it up from a direct source, then I make sure to clarify so. This one is from somebody we personally know. Uh, this is a person who is now retired as of last year, uh, but they were basically uh, a coordinator. They, they both worked with uh, the agency, FEMA, and they worked uh, in the military, in the army. And they would coordinate the, bo the both of them together, uh, specifically for something else. I've talked about it before, but as far as this person, uh, their superior is now in administrative. It was somebody who was their drill sergeant, and now it's been 15 years, and now they're administrative, and they are now in Ukraine. And they said that basically they are trying to exhaust any avenue possible. So here's the dirt, and I think that this will be public soon. I, I think that, you know, there may be... Um, I, I think that this is probably going to come to light if we don't figure out something quick. That they are exhausting everything they possibly can with Russia as far as the people that are there in Ukraine, uh, trying to give them any options. Other countries have stepped in that are not publicly stating this, according to this person, uh, that they are trying to come at them from a financial level and say, what do you guys need to not you know, go any further than this? See, the world is being painted a picture that this is another you know, chest, uh, a chest bashing and that Russia is just doing this uh, to send a message. Uh, you don't send a message with 120,000 troops and let alone from what I have heard is that it's going to be close to 200 or 250,000 if they continue to do this. Now they have set up full-on bases. Uh, they are setting up medical tents. They are setting up uh, drones. They are setting up artillery. They are setting up all sorts of things and this, that is confirmed. And now there's finally satellite photos to back that up. Um, in fact, anything that kind of, uh, I guess, collaborates what I'm saying is going to be on marfuglenews.com. You can go to this thumbnail, and then, of course, you'll be able to see all of the links uh, from authoritative sources and everything else. But as far as this goes, they are trying to exhaust any avenue to stop. Now, one thing that I, I think that is pretty obvious is the U.S., the, uh, the instructors there are basically saying, you know, we'll help you in any way we can, but we cannot get in a full-scale, uh, you know, conflict with Russia. So they're basically telling Ukraine that we'll help you in any way possible. We'll even put some money up and other countries will put some money up. We're trying to figure out a way that we can just calm this down. See, if that, if that does end up working, it will be just like every other thing, right? Where this goes to a hot point and then all of a sudden dies down and nobody talks about it because that's the kind of stuff that they do. And they're trying to do that, but they have not uh, had any kind of pushback on that. They have not had any of them say, yeah, let's talk about it. It's been, you know, basically this is what we want. They, they do want to eventually have that back as part of Russia. At the same time, everybody is looking that direction uh, of course, China is coming out and doing these speeches. Uh, Xi basically told the world, he says he does not believe the U.S. or any other country should tell other countries what to do. That's kind of a posturing of like, hey, why, why are there any countries that are number one? First off, we're equals now. So he's talking about, you know, having one thing for the entire planet, if you guys know what I mean. So there's a lot of uh, kind of a lot of things that people are looking at. And it's not this. Um, even when Dex was just looking through, you know, kind of all of the back end stuff of everything all over the Internet, uh, most people are talking about three things. Of course, the, uh, the stuff that happened down today and the verdict of guilty, uh, the stuff that uh, goes into our bodies, or, of course, um, 
I believe the third main thing was what happened at the very beginning of this year that chose our president, right? Everybody's talking about that. But not, uh, you know, most people are kind of covering it, covering it to the point where they're saying, oh, there's kind of a little bit of stuff happening here. This is giant. This is something that uh, a buildup that is unlike anything besides when they took Crimea. And when they when they uh, when they built up like this for Crimea, they took Crimea. So again, they annexed uh, Crimea. So I, I'm just wondering if all of this is meant to be meant to happen at the same time. Now there's a whole other scheme of things that we're going to go over on our next show. Uh, as, as far as Iran and everything else that's going on with that. So on top of that, um, you know they have everything set up there. I mean, you're talking about they have drones, they have SU, uh, TU-95s, they have uh, TU-160s. They basically have an entire army sitting there at the border. And what they're not telling you is that the U.S. is, is definitely in Ukraine. Uh, U.S. is setting up stuff as well. They've accused now us of having research labs against that. So I don't know if that's like us puffing our chest or what. So again, everybody's going to be focused on what is happening today. Uh, everybody's going to be focused on, of course, the sentencing, and everybody's going to have something to look at. Now, I guess I, I felt like, you know, not everybody cares that we share this stuff, and not everybody uh, needs, needs to know about it. Some people should probably not pay attention to it. But if you look at the global collapse that ha is happening right now, uh, I think that any time in, in history before, you know, people say, oh, we've gotten close all the time. You know, it, it is set in, into our brains in this generation that we're not going to get into another world global conflict. And that's not true. We're very far away from the last, you know, world conflict. And people are trained. And I believe some of you are actually trained to say, oh, this is, you know, this is this. Oh, this is just this for this. I don't understand it. People have to wake up at this point. Even if Russia, China, and the U.S. were all in it together, I, in fact, my opinion is the billionaires are above all of this. Maybe that's why China just said what they said at their speech today, which will link there. The headline will say it all. Basically, he believes that the entire world should be equal, and we all know what that uh, kind of alludes to you know, say one system for the entire world. You guys get it. So there's a long-term uh, thing that's going on here. You're going to see stuff happen with the world as far as our weather, right? And that, that those events will shape how our governments all act. There's also these events will shape how we maybe say they come to the very point of conflict and then tell the world, oh, we made a peaceful, con uh, you know, we made a uh, we get to right to the brink of, of conflict and then say, hey, guys, if we do this, everything will chill down. So scare the hell out of people and then say, hey, if we do this and change laws and, and make everybody equal and all of this and change the way everything works, world travel, everything, and, you know, everybody's got their passports and everybody's got their stuff, maybe we would all go along with it because what is the alternative? Conflict with uh, two superpowers and and of course they'll scare the heck out of us saying that we'll all be obliterated. What do you guys think? I do know though that right now they are begging. They are begging. And this has not been, uh, this has not been, I, this has not been, I guess, pushed out. Nobody's really pushing that, that angle and I, I'm very surprised. And I'm also very surprised that the US is publicly supporting them, but over there saying, you know, we can help you, we can give you money, we can give you weapons, um, but we can't, you know, that's as far as we go. So what does that mean? That means that they would probably let it happen. Because if they don't, that's a world conflict with Russia. So all right, um, I have tons of information that will be on the website. Again, thank you guys for your feedback. I won't pay attention to the haters. I, I just, I feel like, you know, People don't want to hear it because it, it doesn't feel good to hear this stuff. Or they want to have their own, uh, they want something, a motivation to be behind it. They want the person saying it to have some ul ulterior motive so then they don't have to listen. 
It's a defense mechanism. So I love you guys. Uh, please be safe, be prepared, and all of the information will be linked at marfuglenews.com. If you do want to support us, every uh, piece of information is on the right side of the screen on there. And then if you want to share this out, make sure to do so. All right, thank you guys. Be safe, be prepared.